Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Basics of Nodes in Unreal Engine 4. In today's episode, I'm going to be going over what a for loop is, how it works, and how you can use it in your game. So a for loop will fire off a line of code in the loop body the amount of times between the first and last index, then fire off the completed executable, and repeat this indefinitely unless told to only do once or a certain amount of times. But if you want to know more about how to stop a for loop, then we'll need to do a for loop with break, which I can do in the future if you would like. So let me know down below if you'd like to see that video as well. So if I get an event begin play and then get my for loop off of this, this will do this once as it is off event begin play. So this will only be fired off once and that's at the very beginning of the game. Then off of the loop body up here, I'm going to get a print string. And so the loop body is essentially what you want to include in the loop. So it will do this X amount of times. So if you know other coding languages, this is what you would indent. And so I want to print this string here 11 times. So the first index I'm going to leave at 0, the last index I'm going to put at 10. This means it will go 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 10, therefore completing this 11 times. So these indexes here are the amount of times the loop body is fired off. And now I want this print string here to just print the index we're on, so I'm just going to plug the index into that print string there, and this will just give me the numerical value of which index we are currently on, as this is an integer right there. So it's going to tell me how many times the loop body has been fired. And then the completed will fire off this executable here once it has finished this loop body. So I'm going to get another print string. This time I'm just going to say completed in there. So when it's done the loop body 11 times for me, it will execute this. So again, when we begin the game, it's going to do this for loop here, which 11 times as it's going from index 0 up to index 10, it's going to fire off the loop body. So again, 11 times, which is just going to print a string of the index number we're on, so it will go from 0 up to 10, and then once it has finished this loop body, so it's done it 11 times, it's going to fire off this completed executable, which is going to print a string of completed. So if we compile this, we can see what it does. So we hit play, it's then got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 10, and then got completed. So I can make this last a little longer, so duration of 10, and then do the same here, duration of 10, which just means that they will stay on screen for 10 seconds. If we do this again, we can see we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 completed. And the bottom is which, which ones it's done first. So as you can see, it has done 0 all the way up to 10 and then completed in the correct order that we wanted as it fired off this loop body that amount of times. Now just purely because of how easy this is and how quick it is, it's done them all the exact same time for the naked eye to see, but this is how that works. So again, it goes into the loop. The loop body is what we want to do. The index is how many times we want to do it, and the completed is what we do after it's finished this loop body. So again, a for loop will execute the loop body, the amount of times you chose, and then execute the completed line of code. The loop body is the line of code that you want to be inside the loop and to be executed. The first and last index is the amount of times you want the loop to be executed, and the completed is the line of code which is executed once it is executed the loop body the amount of times that you chose, or in other words, when it reaches the last index. And again, just so you remember, a loop body in other languages is basically where you would indent the code. So if you have 4x mount, and then you'd indent it. So the line starts here, then you'd go here, 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 and then when you break it, you go back to here again. So this part inside the code would be the loop body. But in other programming languages like Python, C Sharp, stuff like that, it's the indented part. So it's just a typical for loop, but obviously if you're new to all this, then hopefully I've explained this well in other areas of the video. So I think that'll be it for this video on explaining what a for loop node is. I hope you understand it a bit more now. If you do or don't, let me know in the comments down below. And if you don't, then I can hopefully help you understand it a bit more. And also if you have any further requests for future nodes that you want explaining, leave them down in the comments below as well. But again, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.